Chocolate Cocaine highlights amazing Black women who broke barriers and made their mark in history on an erotic or sexual level. This week, Chocolate Cocaine presents Marie Bryant. Described as one of the most vivacious Black dancers in the United States, Marie Bryant was a force in her day. She would later be called one of the greatest Black performers of the 20th century. Marie was born in Meridian, Mississippi on November 6, 1917. Due to racism, her family had to move to New Orleans when they were constantly threatened. It was in New Orleans where Marie found her dance teacher and mentor who helped her perfect her dance style and technique. In 1934, Marie landed her first gig in a Chicago nightclub. Marie later located to Los Angeles, where her career allowed her to dance in both predominantly black and some predominantly white clubs. Marie was also beginning to make a name for herself in the film industry. In 1937, she performed in the film Artists and Models. In 1938, The Duke is Tops. And in 1940, she was in the film Gang War. In 1940, Marie met and began working with the great Duke Ellington, who named her one of the world's greatest dancers. Famed dancer and actor Gene Kelly called her one of the finest dancers I've ever seen in my life. Marie was blessed to travel the world with Duke Ellington in one of his tours, which lasted nine weeks. Even though Marie racked up movie credits, she also did voice performances on such jazz classics as On the Sunny Side of the Street in the film Jammin' the Blues. In 1945, she moved to the Broadway musical industry with Are You With It? which led to her performing the next year in Beggar's Holiday. With Broadway under her belt, she became a coach at the Catherine Dunham School, teaching tap and boogie. Many professionals, from actors to directors, sought out Marie because of her dance techniques. Her most famous style was called controlled release, a technique she described as finding the natural line in each body and the favorite ways it likes to move, then controlling the movements. Her career took off to various heights, such as being a guest instructor at an L.A. dance school to forming her own dance troupe. She performed burlesque dances and strip teases, telling Ebony Magazine in an interview that she wanted to make stripping more of a dance and less of a come on to give the stripper more art and more dignity. By 1951, Marie and her dance troupe toured overseas to England, India, and even Sri Lanka. She performed for royalty on her tour and even met her husband, John Rajkumar. They returned to L.A. in 1955 after a very busy tour schedule, and Marie and John were together over 10 years until he passed from battling a long illness. Marie continued to work as a choreographer and dance coach. In the 1970s, she opened the Marie Bryant Dance Studios. Marie was 59 years old when she died on May 23, 1978 from cancer. She was survived by her daughter and three grandchildren. Chocolate Cocaine presents Marie Bryant.